Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in today's video I have a replay so that I thought it was actually kind of funny so I thought it would be cool to make an analysis for I was playing on my alternate account and I came across this Blanca now I am 99% sure this Blanca is a smurf account I'm not sure whose smurf it is but I thought the match was kind of interesting uh, I haven't played this match very much because you know, both season 3 I wasn't playing a ton of Mika. But I still like to play Mika and I play here every now and then. Blanca is typically, I think, a little bit of a hard matchup for Mika because the light Blanca ball is really hard to punish. So, or almost unpunishable for Mika unless Blanca does it from a horrendous spacing. So, this person starts the match with a heavy jump. And something that is just right of the gate. What is this damage on this command grab? I actually want to know how much damage this is doing. This is like 200 damage. What is this? So this is 190 damage to 100 stun. Damn, that's a lot. So let's keep going. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. The light Blanca ball is really hard for Mika to punish. You can't really punish it with the XP because he there is too much pushback. You can dash the knee XP, so it's a bit of an issue. Like this is the core issue in this matchup is the light planka ball. You know I'm trying to figure him out. All right, goes for unnecessary slide. I don't know why, but we get the knockdown. <coughs> I'm sorry. So first to start, when I play Mika, I usually like to start with normal throws at first, just to check out my opponent and get a feel of, okay, are they jumpy, are they standing still, you know, get a good feel of what they are doing. He tagged, so that's good knowledge. So he was staying there, the light Blanca ball again. Of course, um... From this basic, I could have done standing medium into standing heavy into heavy bunch peach, but I didn't trust it. Sometimes this whiffs, so I just did medium bunch into heavy beach. Now I'm going for the meaty. If I'd gotten this right, I should have been able to meet him. Yeah, I was plus four. I could have gotten a jab here. If I was holding forward a little. <coughs> Sorry for that. If I was holding forward a little bit more, I could have gotten a medium bunch. And that's what I try to go for. Go for a command grab. He's still kind of standing still. And this is the situation, yeah. So after a... After a command grab, you can go for a Lady Mika. And this will hit them if they try to jump. Or they try to dash. Or... If they try to back dash, he will get hit crush counter. If he try to jump, he will get hit airborne. And I will get an air reset. After this situation, Mika should get either an EX Typhoon. Or standing medium bunch. I, I walked, I got, uh, you know, I went for the walk up into normal grab and because he was crouching I got this throw which is really really good because I get a corner throw check here and then EX Typhoon and that should be stunned. So in the first round the Blanca wasn't moving a lot. They did a couple of random slides, I'm not really sure why. But after that we were able to get in multiple command grabs and you know, get a good thing going. So let's see round two. I noticed that in the first round they went for a lot of slides, so I, this round I'm going for a lot of forward medium kick, just to go over that. It's a really good book in general. This is a little bit weird, because I thought it which it should banish from here, I got the standing medium bunch, cancelled into heavy beach, kinda surprised it didn't link. I'm not even sure EX beach would have linked from this range, but you know, that's unfortunate. Then I get banished heavily, thankfully. Yeah, I'm still kind of neutral jumping uh, because I was trying to beat the light punch ball, which is the problem in this matchup. Go for another grab. Nice. So the Blanca tried to wake up with lights. I don't recommend doing what I just did, neutral jumping on wake up on Blanca. That was kind of whack. Honestly, didn't even I didn't believe that this would link. So I thought he would be blocking, but I got the hit, and I wasn't able to confirm into something meaningful. But at least I managed to do get a jab jab into light pitch in time. So while I didn't get a meaningful combo, at least I got something. 
So after a the reason I went for the cross up there is at this situation he will have to worry about the typhoon. Like if I jumped over him to the cross up, he is worried about the typhoon. So I'm checking him with lights, trying to see if he's gonna jump or not. I could do one jab or two jabs. Or basically two lights into Typhoon, right? Or three lights into EX Typhoon with a micro walk. I do three lights. At this point, I know I'm gonna have to micro walk. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to micro walk. And since I saw the third light connecting, I knew he was gonna jump. Like he's trying to jump at this point or back dash. I dash forward, see him jump, and EX wingless. So this is something that's really good to do with Mika. Um, in this situation, because they know you will want to throw them back in the corner, they are going to try to jump. I got the read correctly, and this is one of the things that will mind fuck your opponents. And then they started waking up with the EX reversals. Nice. Thankfully, this time it connected, but it wasn't enough for for the kill, which is kind of weird. Maybe EX, maybe I should have done EX. Of course, it doesn't take much to explain this. He is going for a ton of Blanca balls because he wants to go and do the V trigger shenanigans. So I'm neutral jumping or jumping back to try to paint it and punish it. So let's go for match 2. So now we're starting with the second one. Um, Blanca is running in. Okay, so. The last round we got it, I would say the last match was pretty decisive. Let's see if the Blanca have anything to change. Yeah, this was just a shake to the dash. Of course he was gonna try to dash from a distance. Uh, check the dash. Probably could have gotten this again. Uh, I think I had a good sense of when the Blanca was going to go for the balls. So maybe it was a light kick, I would have been able to punish it, but I got my spacing wrong. So it's, so it's whatever. I believe this was unsafe though. Let me see the attack data. I think I could have, I think this was a medium ball. Was this a medium ball? Yeah. I was plus 19. No, I was plus 1 after the dash, so it's still safe. Again, the safety of the Blanca balls is what makes this matchup really, really difficult. Notice that now after the drop kick, he's moving. He's moving a lot more. Which means that now I should be going for a lot more hits. He's not gonna take command grabs, yeah. Go for the punish. Nice back dash, that was cool. When Blanca activates his V-triggers, there are a couple of things that you'll need to be aware of. He is negative if he does any heavy or medium Blanca ball to a V trigger ball. These ones are minus one or minus two, depending on the spacing. But the lights are plus. So if he does the light kick or the up ball with kick and then the down forward, that will be cross up. If he does a light ball to a V trigger ball, that is plus two. So here I should have been a little bit more careful. Obviously he's kinda fed up, he's tilted, he's mind fucked, he's constantly going for EXs at this point. And this is one thing that you'll have to take notice of. When you're fighting against a smurf player, they don't give a shit. They will do the craziest things constantly, because why not? They have nothing to lose. Of course I'm also playing a smurf account myself, so it's kinda evens out, but you know, just something to keep in mind. Here, uh, I kill him with a command grab, so I would, I'm trying to fish for an EX Typhoon, or I don't think EX was above any command grab will whiff and will kill now, so I'm trying to get in range, of course, if he hit me with any EX Blanca Ball or whatever, it could be dangerous, but I'm trying to fish for an EX command grab, and I got it. So I intentionally waved the crouching heavy, the roll, to get in range and then do the EX command grab. It's kind of one of the oldest tricks in the book when it comes to Mika, but whatever, we get the round, right? That's what matters. I believe this was unsafe. I believe that was unsafe. 
I wanna see something. Because I think Lanka have a back throw loom. It's zero? Okay. Blanca is one of these matchups that I really need to grind. I don't know a lot about Blanca. Especially with a character like Mika. Yeah, he's going for the EX up ball on every knockdown now. He's not even gonna try to play. I thought if I neutral jump here, I could make it whiff. So this was actually me trying to bait it. But it hit me like even... Seems like it hit me with the, with the back of Blanca. I'm not sure. Maybe a forward jump would have baited it. Yeah. Thought maybe this was unsafe. And he gets around. So now the Blanca is taking no shit from anyone. He's constantly waking up with EX up ball every single time. Turned off his brain completely and he's gonna keep doing it every time. So now I should be a lot more careful and bait it a lot more. This was actually a bait for it, but he didn't try to go for the neutral jump. Beat my anti-air. Beat my anti-air again. I believe I was doing the crouching a medium bunch every time, right? Yeah, that was a crouching medium bunch, but it beat my anti-air. That was a decent punish. I'm glad I got that. Sacred is actually really good, like given all things considered, this is actually a really good punish. We got almost like 320 damage, that's really cool. Let's see what's going on. Now it's getting really intense. So what he's doing here is... I think if I didn't do the drop kick or I, did, I didn't try to charge it, maybe he would have whiffed. Went for an up kick, I don't think, I think for no reason. Of course he's gonna wake up EX up ball now. So the first time when he did the EX up ball, I forgot that he could cancel this. So... Kinda got robbed this time, let's see the second knockdown. Again, went for the same thing. But this time I, you know, I remember what just happened. So this is something to keep in mind when you're fighting uh, Gibbs Blanca. That he can cancel the EX up ball to in V trigger, he can cancel it. I had actually forgotten about this. Thankfully, he did it the first time, and the second time I remembered it. And um, when you're fighting against a player who is kind of a troll or playing like a Smurf account, they are kind of like that was playing to troll, I believe. I believe like after the first match, he was kind of trying just to troll me or just go for the dumbest shit all the time. I don't know. Anyways, I think it was kind of a funny match to see the Blanca going for the EX up ball every single time. Might need to get a look at how I can actually bait it. I thought after that V trigger setup, if I neutral jump, it will bait it, but didn't. Maybe forward jump will. So I will need to have a look at that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and analysis, please leave a like, subscribe, or share. It all really helps. Thank you for watching and stay safe.